Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Isn't God wonderful? So good to see you here today. That I means excited to be in the house of the Lord. God. God is so good. God is so good. So good all the time. Praise Just one quick announcement before we go any further. I want to pray this moment. I just wanted to share with you. Uh, Suzanne has put a list in the back. We're still doing meals for Kim, Phoenix family. And uh, it happens on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays through the week. So there is a sign-up sheet in the back just so you can get that put in your name. You know, gift, gift cards or, or a meal, whichever one you want to do, okay? But let's just continue to uh, be a blessing. Most of all, continue to pray. Amen. Continue to pray for them. We know that God is working. He's always working. Look at your neighbor and say, God's always working. And God's always moving. Amen. God has not changed what He did in the past. He's still doing today. Amen. If He healed in the past, He's still healing today. And He's a healer. We praise Him. We thank Him for that. Praise God. We got much to pray about. Uh, the Romley family, let's remember. Wayne Rowley that came to church here for, for some time. And he went he went home to be with the Lord yesterday. And uh, and the family just needed to be in much prayer for them. And for his wife, Victoria, James, his son that's been here and has been son for us a couple of times. Just a good friend, a good friend of mine, and I just uh, he's he's heartbroken today as he should be. But we know that the grace of God, amen, the grace of God. That's why they call it amazing. That's what it is. It's amazing. The grace of God. Praise God. Amen. Everyone that will, prayer list is in the back. I'm going to ask those to bring it up here to us today. Amen. We've got much to pray about. But listen, we serve an awesome God. Our God, He tells us, He said, there's a, there's a way that we come in. There's a protocol that would come in, he says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him and bless his name. The psalmist also said, Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. What is your soul? It's your mind, your will, your emotions. Sometimes we have to get our head thinking right. Come on. Our will begins to say to us, that's what the psalmist was saying, bless the Lord, oh my soul. I know what's going around me right now. What I see, I might not like, but still yet, I'm going to speak down into my heart. David said, the Bible said that David encouraged himself in the Lord. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves. And the psalmist, he said that, he said, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And he thought, man, that sounds so good. I think I'll say it again. And then he goes, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. What does he do? He forgives all my iniquities. And he heals all my diseases. He redeems my life from destruction. You remember when he did that for you? When you were heading down a road and there was no way out, the bridge was out, there was no hope, no way you were going to make it. But you heard a voice. You heard a voice and you turned around and you saw goodness and mercy. Face. Amen. You saw a Savior that welcomed you and said, Come on. Come on. Let me show you a better way. Let me show you a better life. Amen. And thank God you turned. Thank God. God saved you. You redeemed your life from destruction. And he satisfies your mind. He satisfies you with good things. He's a good God. He's a good God. He loves you. And I just want to share this. I want to just encourage you before we pray. I want to build your faith just a little bit, okay? I want to build your faith up, get you strong, because it's all about perspective. That's what the psalmist was saying there. It was, it's all about what you see, because where you sit is what you see. Where you're at today, that's what you're seeing. And in your mind's eye, where you see is what you see, and what you see is what you do. We've got to understand that we don't see what God sees. 
Why is that? Because we're not sitting where God's sitting. God sits high. Hallelujah. He sits high and He looks low and He's looking at you today. But He sees. We see to the corner. God sees around the corner. We see to the top of the hill and God sees over the hill. We see today, but God sees tomorrow. And all of our tomorrows. He sees what we can't see. And you've got to trust Him today. And your heart may be heavy. You may be under a great deal of pressure today and there may be a great need in your life. And you may somehow feel like God has forgotten you. I'm glad you're here today because I want to encourage you. God has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten you. He's just seeing what you don't see. Amen. He may be when you think that He's preventing you from something or, or keeping you from a blessing. He's protecting you from something. Because He sees what we can't see. And you can trust Him. Do you believe you can trust God? I believe you can trust Him. I believe He's trustworthy. And He loves you today. Would you come up? Everyone that will come up around this altar. And that these signs shall follow them that believe. How many believers do we have in the house today? Hallelujah. We, uh, we have some believers. They'll pray. They'll lay hands on the sick. Have faith and believe. The Bible says that you will be healed. Amen. Say, I'm going to be healed. Today's my day. Hallelujah. Today's my day. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, every request on this list, God, every need in the house, God, you are so much greater. God, there's nothing too hard for you. All things are possible to them that believe. And Father, we believe in you today. God, we know that you see what we can see.
it's important we need to praise God. The, Bible, the Word of God tells us that we need to bless the Lord at all times. Amen. But Paul and Silas gave us a little lesson that you also bless Him at midnight. And then when things are the darkest, when things don't seem fair, when that life just seems like it's handed you a, a bad hand, amen, that's when we need to praise God. In the Word of God, you know what happened. When they begin to praise God at midnight, praise Him. Amen. God began to shake the prison where they were at. Amen. I don't know what kind of a prison. Amen. You feel like you're in today. But if you'll praise God, Amen. He'll set you free. Praise the Lord. He'll set you free. It's amazing how things and perspective can change things. I, I told my daughter, I sent uh, Cameron, she just celebrated her four year wedding anniversary. And I, I sent her a little message and I told her, I said, uh, four years ago today, my heart was broken. And I thought, I've lost the most precious gift in my life. You know, I just, I was, I was down and depressed and so I, I didn't want my girl to go. I just, you know, I, I loved her being around and loved to be with her. And, and she was a gift to me, just like all our kids are gifts to me. But I said, little did I know, the heartbreak that I felt that day, you know, God could see what I couldn't see. And I was broken hard. But now, what's turned out to be, I thought, was a horrible situation. And it's turned out to be the greatest blessing. And then one of the greatest blessings of God. And isn't that amazing how God can turn things around? And what we see sometimes isn't always how it is. Man, you can trust God. God knows what He's doing. And you're in His hands. Amen. Say, I'm in His hands. You're in God's hands. You're in good hands today. Praise Him. Praise Him. Amen. So excited. And then we've got some great things in store for you today. Amen. We're going to have a great singing today with some precious friends. Amen. And Alabaster. Amen. That's come to sing for us today. We're just so excited about that. We want to be a blessing to them. And we will worship God in our giving today. Amen. How many... Those are giving time. It's happy time. Amen. God loves a cheerful giver. Praise God. He'll bless you. As our ushers wait up on you, they worship God. Worship Him today as you give.
All sufficiency. Say all sufficiency. Praise God. All sufficiency in all things. Say all things. They have an abundance. Praise God. I like that word. Abundance for every good work. As it is written. For he has dispersed the cross. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. Verse 10 says, Now may he who supplies seed to the sower. Who's that? That's the big H-E. He, that's him. He supplies seed to the sower, bread for food. Supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the, the fruits of your righteousness. Praise God. Can you say, I receive that? And that's God's word to you today. Father, we thank you. God, we ask you, God, to bless this often. Bless your people. God, we, we've sown. And if we've sown, God, into your kingdom, just like we put a seed in the ground and we cover it up, we know without a shadow of a doubt, God, the promise, the power of the seed is it will bring forth. It will come back to us. And God, we just thank you. And I speak forth blessings over your people today. Bless them, God. Increase them. Your abundance, God. Make all grace abound toward them. In Jesus' wonderful name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now give the Lord a good hand clap of praise. Praise God. He's an awesome God. We love you today. Praise the Lord. Praise God. We're going to just ask our singers if they would come on up and listen. Have at it. Bless us. I'm excited. I know.